What's up everybody? Good morning. Today I am in Mountainside, New Jersey, and we are about to do a full pond dog renovation. Is he done? No, he's not done. <laughs> What's up everybody? It's Jack from Atlantis Water Gardens. Today we are doing a pond waterfall renovation, expansion, all kinds of stuff going on here. And we've got a pond behind us that we're going to be working on. I'm going to show you our big plans for this pond and we're going to talk to the homeowner because he actually built the original pond. So I want to see what his take is on what he'd like to see back here. You ready to be famous, Scott? Yes, I am. Let's do a little talk over here. Gotta get the kids on video later. <laughs> Okay, I'm here with Scott, who is the homeowner and the original pond builder. How you doing? So, Scott, how long ago did you build this pond? Uh, 2009 with my brother and my father. So that's like nine years ago? Yeah, we got a lot of years on this pond. How hard was it? Extremely hard. All by hand, and none of these fancy machines. <laughs> Talk to me about this waterfall back here. Were you doing some uh, sacrificial rituals back here? What was happening? No, nope, not at all. We were trying to get some rapids going. It didn't work out as planned, but... So here's what we're going to do. We're going to fix that waterfall, right? We're going to... We're gonna take the whole waterfall down. All right. We're gonna start in the back corner. We're gonna have multiple cascades coming down into the pond over here. Last year, we put in this constructed wetland filter. How'd that work out, Scott? Amazing. The pond's never been cleaner. Actually, it's nice and clear now. It hasn't even been cleaned out this year and it's clear right to the bottom. Fish look great. So what we're gonna do now is replace the waterfall. And then on this side, we're blowing out this side of the pond. Awesome. We're going out like, by the time it's all said and done, about 18 feet. Yep, 18 feet. Yep. So we're going about 18 feet this way. We're going to do an intake bay. Um, we're going to do a large stack slate urn on the peninsula over here, which is going to be pretty neat. And we're going to put more lights in it, aquatic plants, and really just make this thing over double the size it is now. Sounds great. Pond of a lifetime. What's your favorite part about the pond now? It was the waterfall. When you, when you talk, now. Scott, you have to talk to this thing because oh, people can't hear you. <laughs> Uh, the wetland now is my favorite. Prior to that, it was the waterfall before the chipmunks ate the liner. Oh yeah, so let's talk about that. So there have been, it's like a chipmunk hotel back there. I, I've, this morning alone, I've seen five or six chipmunks back there. And the big problem with that is chipmunks, especially in the wintertime, for whatever reason, love to chew on liner. And I think that's what they've done to this waterfall. Because you turn it on and it loses water immediately, right? Yeah, I was losing probably an inch or two overnight. Okay, so that's quite a bit of water. That's not evaporation. That's definitely going to be a leak. So when we take this apart, we're going to construct it. Well, first of all, Scott's going to try and get rid of some of the chipmunks because no matter what you do, they're going to come back and try and go to work again. So we're going to see if we can't set some traps or maybe put out some chipmunk repellent. And in the meantime, we're going to rebuild this. We're going to have soil backing up a lot of the liner. And we can actually use some chicken wire back there to help prevent the chipmunks from chewing through the liner as well. Create some planting areas, give it a really nice look where you can landscape around it where it's not such so much rock and so vertical. So right now it's got the whole volcano effect happening. We're going to get rid of that and we're going to make something that looks like it fits the backyard. Really gives it a nice layout where you've got room to do planting and it just improves the overall look of the pond. So first order of business today is going to be removing that waterfall. We're going to go on the backside here and build up some retaining about a foot off the fence just so that we don't have any weight up against the fence and then we can build up and create our waterfall section. All these fish are going to be going into our holding tank which is next to the shed. The pond water gets pumped out. We're going to clean out the wetland filter and this whole section here is coming apart so we can seam onto it and build the rest of our pond here. Right about where that pump is, we're gonna do a large stack slate urn, which is gonna be sunk down inside the pond, giving it a really cool effect. There'll be lights in the top and all around it. Really gonna look great. And back there, we're gonna build an intake base skimmer so we can house multiple pumps because we're running two waterfalls and the urn, so we need extra room. We're all not gonna fit inside the skimmer. This was the skimmer that was here since last year. Yes. Now we're just removing this and doing a completely custom skimmer. So I've shown this before. This is our holding tank. This is a 500 gallon collapsible tank and we're pumping pond water into this tank. So we move the fish in the same water. It doesn't stress them out. 
It'll be in the same water that they're sitting in right now. We'll have aeration going in here. We have to cover the tanks with a net so the fish don't jump out because the fish will jump and they'll be good in here while we do this reconstruction. We'll probably do some water changes during the build because we're gonna be here for several days. There's really no filtration going on in the tank. It's just aeration. So we'll do a couple water changes maybe once a day, do 10% change and the fish should be fine. And the other thing I wanna to mention too is we wanna make sure they're not sitting on a hot surface like a driveway because that'll heat the tank up and that's not good for the fish. We wanna keep that water as cool as possible. And we're fortunate right now because it's overcast. It's kind of a little bit rainy over here. It's supposed to be that way all week. So we're not looking at a really a high heat week. So that's actually good for the fish being out of the pond. So another challenge I got is this waterfall. And right here, it gets kind of narrow. So I can only get the machine so close. We want to use the biggest boulders we can for the waterfall, but we're going to be stretching to see how far we can, we can reach with the machine and where we can put those bigger rocks. So we have to be careful that we don't make it out of scale on one side and the other side's all these small rocks. So that's gonna be a challenge. And the waterfall here, so you can see how this is constructed. It's just a bunch of rocks stacked up and liners just pinched inside there someplace. So you've got a, some sort of waterfall filter sitting here, which is gonna be coming out. There's not a whole lot of dirt involved here and you can see we've got some cinder blocks back there. So we're gonna deconstruct this entire thing. We're gonna use most of this stone to create retaining on the backside so that we can fill in with dirt and then start constructing our waterfall. We're gonna set a new biofalls as far back as we can, run the plumbing out so it goes all the way to where the intake is going. And the other thing we have to consider is we're in the Northeast, it freezes here. We wanna make sure that we keep a pitch from the waterfall all the way to the skimming area so that when we winterize and we pull the check valve out, all the water that's in the line drains that way and doesn't get stuck in here because that's when you see plumbing that gets exploded or cracked. We've got a heck of a lot of work to do here, so it's time to get busy. I want to show you guys why this waterfall is leaking. It's something we commonly see, especially coming out of the winter time. This is the waterfall liner, and you see all these holes with the jagged edges around them. This one, this one, this guy. There's, uh, there's about a dozen holes in this liner. That's from chipmunks. Chipmunks go behind the waterfall when the water's turned off in the winter time, and they chew holes in the liner. I don't know what they do with it, but they love to do it. If you're finding that you turn on your waterfall in the springtime and you're losing a ton of water, and if you have a lot of chipmunks, you better start checking around your, your waterfall liner and pulling things apart to see if you've got any holes. We see a lot of this. We probably rebuild anywhere from 15 to 20 waterfalls a season because of chipmunk damage. So your best bet is to try and put some sort of repellent or poison or something around the waterfall so that the chipmunks can't get behind there and chew your liner. You, if you have dogs and stuff, make sure whatever you're doing is safe for your other animals so that you don't do any damage to them. But um, they can be a real hazard when it comes to liner and they can do a lot of damage, especially if you have a big boulder waterfall. It can be extremely expensive to fix something like that. So that's the reason this waterfall was leaking here though. Okay, here's where we're at so far. We've got our waterfall broken down. Use that rock on the backside to create the retaining wall that's gonna hold up our biofalls and the new waterfall. Steve's down here, he's prepping this whole shelf here. We're gonna recut this. When the pond was originally excavated, they kind of sloped in the shelves. It doesn't hold rocks real well. Things tend to fall in. So we're gonna pull the liner back, recut those so they're flat, and the same thing on this side. 
So our objective now is to get the shelves ready so we can reinstall some boulders. We're gonna bring some bigger boulders in so it ties in the look to the new section where we're gonna be using quite a bit of big rock. And we're also gonna get started on installing our biofalls in the backdrop, our plumbing, and then we can start building our waterfall. So we are making some great progress on the waterfall. Boulevard is just about done now. He's hooking up the biofalls. We're gonna cut it here for part one because I think we've done a lot already. So part two is gonna be finish the waterfall, get the pond expansion done. We're adding a stack slate urn and it's gonna be pretty awesome. So make sure you come back for that. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff you know you're supposed to do. And we'll see you on part two. Well, this turned real fast. Hope it's not a mess tomorrow. Mm -hmm.